going on guys um, just, just as you guys can see by the, the uh, title of this video it's going to be a Q&A for those of you that have been subscribed to me for the better part of I don't know how long I've been on this website five years now it's a you day where the day is dedicated to you guys and your questions so I'm just going to go ahead and read the questions right off my Facebook post and I think what, what I like to do with all my Q&A's in case you haven't uh, never watched one is just I don't pre I don't watch my I don't read you know skim over the question or anything like that before um, I make my video so you my uh, reactions or whatever to these questions will be completely natural and if I see questions that I just I don't know if they're like really stupid questions I'll just skip over them so yeah I, th I just think that makes for a more uh, um, natural video you know instead of pre like you know so in case I take a while to think of some of these um, answers bear with me here so let's go ahead and get right to it uh, let's see wild Kyle if you could have your picture taken with any wrestling faction past or present which group would it be the four horsemen easily I just I think of the and I would I would have to like dress up for that because I think that's the only way to go when it comes to that to that stable um, and a photo op uh, Tony Randall talent sorry if I mispronounced sorry if I mispronounced any of your guys's Facebook names by the way who is your super who is your superstar from each era I would assume favorite um I don't know what you would consider the arrows federation years attitude era and now um now would be Daniel Bryan the attitude era would be Stone Cold Steve Austin uh the federation years would be Bret Hart hope that answers your question uh, oh wait and there's a second one who do you see winning the WWE championship money in the bank ladder match I pre I had predicted Daniel Bryan so that didn't turn out so well. How hot was Taryn Terrell when you met her? Extremely hot. Very nice as well. So that's definitely a good combo. Uh, that was by Kyle Schneider. Amanda Powell, are you going to be doing a room tour soon? You know, I feel bad because I have, you know, I am not kidding when I tell you how much I've been asked that question so many times. And I think it also has to do with the fact that I have friends on here like Assault and Battery that do room tour videos. And it's like people watch them people that watch their his videos that also watch my wonder how come he doesn't do one I've never done one. as you can see there's clocks these are not like as con contrary to what you may all believe this setup here is not a setup for my videos this is just how I have look there's posters next to me that are in the tubes here there's WrestleMania plaques here there's a three pack of, that I so was apparently at one point going to get signed I have a two pack iPhone case here, whatever two set. Like I just have a bunch of random stuff here, and no, in no specific order. This stuff just happened to be here, and I happen to have this little area here. If you can tell, look, this is how close my bed is. It's a really small confined area, and I'm sitting down. Like, the point is, the room tour will come whenever I get around to hanging stuff like this up on my wall. <laughs> um, I say it every year, but I think this year will, really will be the one that uh, when I actually do a room tour video. Uh, trust me, my room's not as extravagant, so don't build your hopes up. But I, when I put my stuff uh, up on my wall, it'll I'll put some thought into it to make sure it looks nice. Um, Ryan Roach, if The Rock was to have a match at WrestleMania 30, who would you want to see him face? It's funny because I mean I have other guys. Like the, the obvious names, I already have them paired up with someone like Daniel Bryan. You know, Daniel Bryan and CM Punk would be my first choice, and then Cena, Taker. So it's not that I would really like be dying to see him face this guy, but just because I think the, through the process of elimination, I think he would be the, the best choice, and that would be Brock Lesnar. Um, five indie stars that you want to see in the WWE that's from my uh, good buddy Alex Lorenzo, uh, the one and only Lorenzo brother. Um, wait, that didn't make sense, did it? No, it didn't. Oh, well, I missed that one up already. Uh, five indie stars that I want to see in the WWE. Uh, Adam Cole, the Briscoe Brothers, that's three. Um, do, 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 do. I, I would say Kevin Steen, but that one's like too, um, I mean, I know the Briscoe Brothers are as well, like kind of obvious ones, but I'll stay away from Kevin Steen, even though I, I would like to see Kevin Steen. Um, I'll say Mike Bennett. Um, uh, that's four. Should be easier. I'll say Johnny Gargano, number five. Uh, Noah Lacono, thoughts on Sammy Callahan signing with the WWE? Um, I'm pumped. I'm glad he finally got his uh, recognition. It's well deserved, and uh, just hoping that uh, he makes it up to the main roster sooner than rather than later. Uh, 
Adamo Franco. What do you think of Rampage Jackson TNA? Um, so far it's been very like eh as far as how they've booked them. I, I don't know. I just, I mean, his debut was good. I didn't like it as much as Stevie Breach did, who went nuts for it. I thought it was really good, not amazing, but it was really good. Um, I don't know. It's just. It's really one of those, you just got to wait and see how it turns out. Because I really have no idea what they're going to do with him. Like, it, you can't really tell. Like, they, since he's so limited, he does have, you know, some pretty much not, no experience in the ring. It, it's really going to be just a wait and see how he progresses as far as his wrestling skills go. Do you think that TNA is creating their version of Brock Lesnar? Uh, no. I just think that the partnership with Bellator is, uh, <laughs> that's pretty much just, um another with another thing coming from that it's us, like with the king mo signing if they were trying to create a brock lesnar they would have this guy go out and beat people up he's a baby face he's not even a heel you know um will franklin will taz go back to wwe um apparently not since he signed a new contract and even before that i didn't see him going back to WWE because i don't think they want him to be honest so um jacob tay uh what do you or tell is i'm sorry if i mispronounced your name uh, what do you think of the about the Aaron Hernandez situation? I think the guy's a piece of shit, and I really don't even want to waste my energy talking about him. Uh, Esteban, Esteban Aguas. If you had a job in WWE, what would it be? Mm, that's a good question. I don't know if I would want to be an announcer because I don't know how good of an announcer I, w I would be. I, I know that sounds like the, the funnest job ever, but I would want to do something that I can see myself being good at. I would probably just say interviewing people. Uh, I, that, that I can, I mean, I don't say I will I'll easily do that, but I can see myself getting comfortable and being uh, somewhat good in that. Because if I'm going to do something, I want to do something that I'm good at. My first choice would be commentating, you know, ring announcing, but I, or commentating, but I don't think I would do a good job, especially play by play. <laughs> Um, Demario Stamback, thoughts on the Pittsburgh Steelers? Do you think they will get to the playoffs? Oh crap! See, this is what this is what not looking at these questions does, and it bites me in the ass sometimes. Oh man, off the top of my head, who are the who I would? Oh my god! That, as far as ma them making the playoffs, off the top of my head, I believe I told someone yes a couple months ago. Oh shoot! But I I can't think off the top of my head. The eight seeds. I mean, you have Broncos. You say, okay, Broncos, Patriots, Ravens, um, Texans. What else is in that conference? Mm, that would make it. Probably the Colts would be a contender. Um. Shit, I, I I would probably say yes, just because off the top of my head, I can't think of legit contenders in the AFC, at least that many ahead of them. Um, oh, and thoughts on them? Uh, they're trying to rebuild. I like the fact that they're not going in full full on re rebuilding mode. They're trying to kind of just add on pieces to keep keep the team as a contender. So I like the fact that they're doing that. They're doing actually a pretty decent job of doing that. Um. Jose Mancillas, do you think MMA, the UFC in particular, is taking a lot of the audience away from WWE and pro wrestling? Uh, no, because I think the fans that are in the UFC had already left WWE a long time ago because they were in need of something more realistic, more to their needs, something not scripted. So I don't think they necessarily are doing that. Uh, Nikki Golakos, do you think AJ Styles or Samoa Joe will ever go to WWE? TNA's not going to last forever. Um, I think that's pretty obvious. Um, I don't know. I mean, if from those two, I would say Samoa Joe would be more likely to go. Um, if they ever will go, never say never when it comes to wrestling. So I would say yes. We, especially, So yeah, I would say yeah, because you, you asked if one or the other. Yeah, so I would say yes. And I would say Samoa Joe would be the one that's more likely to go. Uh, Brijesh Patel, what was your first WWE event? It was a house show in 1993. Um... It oh man like I got to see Undertaker make his way to the ring in a hearse. Um, oh God, what well, they gave away pe or uh, not peanuts, uh, bags of corn nuts at a um, at a intermission. Like I don't know, like random memories I have of that day. I got my first uh, piece of merchandise, if you will, or or at least as from a live event. It was um, a, a brown colored foam 
intercontinental title belt which i still have one day hopefully i'll dig it up i'm pretty sure it's somewhere under my bed but i still have that just because like how could i not how could i throw that away like only i still kick myself to this day for throwing away my blue hasbro plastic ring i was just really pissed that something else when i threw it away and just yeah uh what was your first oh and the same person asked what was your most memorable moment while at the WWE and TNA event and also what is your favorite sport favorite sport is football to watch definitely football to play um hmm, probably basketball right now um even though I haven't played that in god, god knows how long um favorite most memorable moment um I don't know because I've been to shows, especially during the Attitude Era, that I really loved. But I'll just go with the most recent one, the the Raw the night after WrestleMania 28. That crowd was just awesome. Uh, let's see, Nikki Golakos, didn't he just ask one? Yeah, he did. Uh, what is what is your Hall of Fame 2014 wish list? Warrior, Macho Man, obvious ones. Uh, Bam Bam Bigelow. Um, Lita. That's it off the top of my head. I don't want to spend too much time also. Uh, Oscar Hernandez, what is your favorite soccer club? I don't watch too much soccer. I do watch a bit of English English Premier League. Um, not too much to have a favorite soccer club. I mean, I watch foot I watch uh, basketball far much more than soccer or football, you know. But I still don't even have a soccer team. Um, and or an NBA team, so that goes to show you. So I kind of just watch because I like the sport. Uh, if you could travel to three countries, which would they be? Um, I don't know. Damn, you got me with that one. I don't, <laughs> I'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> I'll get back to you that one. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Uh, what's your favorite movie franchise? God damn. <laughs> Oh goodness! Should be actually easy considering that I don't have too many franchises. Like I'll probably just say Star Wars. I think that's a, a safe answer. Thoughts on Justin Gra Gabriel underutilized? That's it. Oscar Hernandez. Which NFL teams that didn't go to the playoffs last year will make the playoffs this year? Another th question that makes. Um, good lord. I don't know, man. That's a that's a tough one. I mean, uh, that, that I'm pretty sure you can agree with that. That that takes up a lot of time. Um, jeez, I want to give you at least one answer so you don't feel like you wasted your time asking me that. Um, were you the same one that asked the countries one? Yes, you were. <laughs> oh damn. So I didn't give you an answer for the countries one. So I got to give you an answer for this one. Um, the Lions. The Lions didn't make the playoffs last year. Did wait? Yes, they did. Shit. Wait, did they? Yeah, they did. They played the Saints. Damn it. Oh God. Oh man. Shit. <laughs> I want to go on a limb and say I don't know. This might bite me in the ass, but. Um, maybe the Dolphins? Um, I can't think of another team right now. <laughs> Damn. I'm sorry, I can't think of anything else right now. Um, maybe the Bears? I don't think the Bears made the playoffs last year, did they? I don't even, I don't even remember anymore. Shit. I'm sp oh, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll go with those two just to make sure I give you an answer. Uh, favorite MLB team other than the Giants? I just have one team. Uh, World Series picks? You know, I think the popular choices right now are the A's and the Pirates, seeing as how well they're doing. The Pirates, I still don't buy into the Pirates. I, uh, I don't like their batting average for the season. I don't like their um, their road record too much. And I, just, I don't know. I, I don't feel too confident in that rotation. Um... Damn, that's, this is another tough one. If I had a pick, though, I would probably say... Shit. 
either the A's or the Orioles from the American League and from the National League. Because the, the, the Rangers are right up there too, but I don't know if they're going to be able to hold up with the, with the A's. In the National League, I would say the Nationals. I think the Cardinals. I think I remember being fond of them this year. Yeah, the Cardinals are doing good this year. Or the Braves. The Braves are on a terror this year. Yeah, the Braves are also up there. Um, where did I leave off? Oh, yeah. Jordan. And that was from Jeff Letourneau. Uh, Jordan Lee's What WWE would... What would Doty have to do to make a DVD look unbuyable straight off? Um, be more honest, because if they would have shown what's really on that Nitro set, Volume 2, I would not have purchased it. Um, <laughs> at least not right off the bat. That's Honestly, that's that's the best thing I could say, because they, they, they embellish, like, the way they put things together makes it look better than they are. Look no further than the WWE uh, or the uh, Nitro Volume 2. That was just awful. Terrible, terrible set. Um, and Paul J. Baca, uh, who has a YouTube channel, and I put it right here just to make sure I give him a shout out. Mr. Paul J. As in just awesome, as in B, as in B on your way to his channel to subscribe. Yeah, I pulled that one out of my ass there. 44. Again, Mr. Paul J. B. 44. All one word. That's his YouTube channel. Go subscribe to that dude. Um, what are your what are your thought blah, 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 what are your top three favorite PWG shows? Um, oh wow, seven um, is just an awesome front uh, top to bottom show. Steen Wolf. Um, wow, this next one's hard because it's between a few. Probably tremendous. I've been to two of those two of those three shows, but even on DVD they're superb. And that's it's hard though because there's a bunch of other shows that I can name off the top of my head that are right up there. But I think those three are shows that I can put, uh, you know, just pop in the DVD anytime and just sit through and sit through all of them in their entirety. Um, and what else did you ask? Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Uh, what's your favorite ROH show that I've watched? Do, 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 do. Damn it! What is my favorite ROH show? It should be easy. Think, 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 think. Death Before Dishonor 8? That's a lazy answer, though. If not... Um... Manhattan Mayhem 2 is pretty good. Uh, I'm going off just by the ones that I own, because those are the ones I've watched. Um... Supercard of Honor 5 was good, so from those three. <laughs> uh, what is your least favorite wrestling or DVD or Blu-ray of your collection? Um... Ooh that I've watched because there are a bunch of them I haven't watched um the nitro set honestly is right up there I disliked it that much it just it's just awful um that is right up there and I'll, I'll use that for my blu-ray answer for DVD mmm shit What the hell is an ROH DVD doing over here? Wow. Um. Damn it! I don't know. Um. Oh shit! I don't know, man. That's a, a least favorite DVD. Gosh, cause. Ah, just take a pick of your one of like a really shitty pay per view. Because chances are, whatever you it, what you, whatever you mention, or at least three of five things that you mention, I'm pr pretty sure I own it, and I think it's just as bad as well. Um, uh, and then Kobe Foss, uh, can you do a video about all the program you got, and what are your thoughts on Chris Saban right now? Chris Saban, I was doing great. I actually have my doubts of uh, Bully Ray retaining the title tomorrow, so that's actually a good thing. Um, but all the program you got. 
Um, if you're asking if I could do a video of all the programs I have, they're not many and I don't have too many autographs. I don't know if you really want me to do a video on that. Uh, Bradley Friend, top three favorite WWE and F titles. Um, the Stone Cold Blu-ray that came out, the most recent one. Um, the, I would probably say the Chris Jericho set. Uh, and I'm going off documentaries, by the way. I don't know if... I would assume ECW counts, considering that it's, uh, wait, oh wait, oh, he's asking for favorite, not just, oh, okay, hmm, alright, so the Stone Cold Blu-ray, um, the Rivalries Blu-ray, and, ah, oh, crap, I don't know if I want to say that one, probably CM Punk's Blu-ray. Uh, just because as, as the whole set together it's just really good same for the other two um, right up there is uh, Jericho's uh, set um, on his DVD that's that, 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 that listing of uh, on that DVD is just superb but yeah those three will definitely do that Rai Rai Walzak number one what do you think of RVD's return on Money in the Bank um, and he asked this prior to him so like I guess what do you think of like the hype I don't know because like I'm not the biggest RVD fan, like, as far as, I, I loved him in ECW and WWE, um, towards the end of WWE, I, I, especially after he got pulled over, this whole thing, I got really sour on him, but as far as him returning, apparently I wasn't as hyped as a lot of other people, you guys act like you guys hadn't seen this guy in, like, 10 years, I know it's been a while, but I don't know, it's just, I was like, okay, um, it, <sighs> To be honest, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't really think they needed to sign him. I don't think that they were gaining like this. Like he's like this big special attraction, like Brock Lesnar and The Rock. But it doesn't hurt them to sign him. So I guess it's it's okay. I don't really know what else to say. What movie, number two, what movies have you seen so far this summer? Um, in theaters, I don't think I've seen any except. Uh, well, 42, if that counts. I don't know if it was summer. No, that wasn't summer, was it? No. Um, I think I watched... Yeah, Iron Man 3 was in the summer. I believe. Maybe not. I don't remember. I guess zero. Hmm. Uh, Rudy Ruiz, best and worst moments for WWE in 2013. Oh, wow. Worst moment. I know I... Oh, crap. This should be... Okay, first... Oh, hold on. Best moment would be... I don't know if this counts, but the CM Punk and Cena match, that was that was awesome. Still my match of the year for WWE this year. Uh, the one on Raw, by the way. Um, actually, yeah, that's the only match they had this year. Um, worst moment, damn it. That should be easy. Because there's a, there's a lot to pick from. <laughs> um... I don't know, honestly. I don't know about that one. Just there's, there's a lot of shitty moments. Damn, I'm sorry. I don't know about that one. But there's a lot of crappy moments. So just take your pick from any of the ones there. Um, Jason De Batista, uh, favorite WrestleMania you have attended? 26. Easily. Um, I've been to 25, 26, 27, 28. For those who don't know, 27 would easily be last. Yeah, would easily be last. 26 in this order 26 would be first 28 would be second um 25 would be third and 27 would be last uh 26 was just like i don't know it was just a really fun show uh yes 28 had seen a rock yes 28 had the hell in the cell match but just 26 I, I just remember having such a blast at that show with luke at that show uh it was just so much fun so that one definitely uh was uh the best uh favorite wrestlemania that i attended uh, Jamin Blanton, have you been to any wrestling events? If so, which ones? Favorite show, Raw, SmackDown, rest, favorite wrestling DVD, favorite wrestling... Jeez, this guy asked one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wow, dude, you asked way too many questions. I'm sorry, dude, I can't answer all these. That's, that's like eight questions. I can see, I see a lot of question marks off the top of my head. Um... Probably took up most of the question. Mm. Wait a minute. Hopefully this will help your video. Probably took up most of the question. Um, 
I'll answer some of these, man. Um, favorite show? That's tough because I've I've I would have to like sit back and remember some of the ones I went when I was really small. I have met wrestlers. Um, I'm just, come on, man. Like, you know, I, don't know. I don't know if you watch my YouTube channel or not, but they're pretty on there. Do I collect wrestling magazines? Not often. Favorite WrestleMania? I just answered that one. Favorite current wrestlers? Daniel Bryan of all time is Bret Hart. Uh, least favorite wrestler? Don't really make a list of that because I don't really feel like least favorite people or you know some to make list of. But that's probably. Oh, wait, was favorite pay per view on here? I'm not sure if it was. Um, but if it was, uh, SummerSlam 91 is my favorite pay-per-view of all time. Moving on, Chris Laws, a favorite Raider of all time. Um, it's, it's funny because when I was growing up, um, Napoleon Kaufman was uh, my favorite Raider. Uh, as I grew up more, and I, uh, by the point where I really understood football a lot more, Rich Gannon uh, was my favorite Raider. Um, but like just now, at this point in time, Bo Jackson is my favorite Raider of all time. Um, do you think Australia should, uh, this is from Jared Smith. Do you think Australia should get a pay-per-view or televised show? Televised show, um, uh, it's really tough because it's, it's not a knock on anyone overseas, but with the time difference, it's really tough. Um, they pull off the UK thing barely, um, just because, you know, they have a tie with the people in the UK that like, the, the UK fans are really loyal. Not saying that anyone else isn't, but it, they, I think Doty feels like kind of obligated almost. Like, like they feel like, well, the UK fans always come out in, you know, in full force, so we give them a TV show every year. And, which I don't have a problem with that. Uh, if they went to Australia, I think the time difference would be a huge, a huge problem. But if, you know what? I would say yes. Just because as long as they do it in a time where, you know, I don't know, like sometime in the summer would probably good, be good. Summer for us uh, would be good just because, um, I don't know, They, I think they have a lot of chances to do that, especially with build-up to shows like, I don't know, that shows that are not that important. I think they can afford to go over there. Why not? And for you guys, I'm sure that any TV taping would be like a big deal. So I think, I think yeah. Uh, Joe Gracie, your thoughts on the infamous Brawl for All back in the day? I thought it sucked. It was comedic more than anything. I remember um, there was a there was I can't remember who was fighting, but I'm no it, I'm pretty sure it was Doctor Death on a Raw, and I think it was against Bart Gunn. I'm not sure, but it might have been. I remember I had a visiting uncle, and for a while, him and my dad were watching TV. My dad was flipping through the channels, and I was just like, God, I should be watching Raw right now. And he kind of stumbled upon Raw. And they were doing the bra for all, and then my uncle started getting a kick out of the, you know, the guys duking it out, and then my dad left it there, and we started watching it, and I, and that's when it really kicked into me, like, gosh, this is so bad, like, I really hate it now more than ever, so yeah, that for the bra for all. Uh, Chris Mofat, what are your, oh, gosh, this screen's really bright now. Uh, what are some of, what, a, what are some, if, of your favorite movies, oh, got me there with your, with your, let me start over. What are some of your favorite movies and TV shows? Also, what music do you listen to? Music, I listen to a little bit of everything, man. I don't really have a genre that I specifically say, well, that will, I'll never listen to that genre. I'll, I'll listen to pretty much anything. Um, right now, TV shows, uh, The Big Bang Theory, Two Broke Girls. I'm starting to get into Mike and Molly a little bit. Um probably it old shows uh, oh that's easy smart guy full house uh, step by step uh, family matters um, fresh prince of bel-air all the classic Nick shows you can think of including one that never gets talked about my brother and me probably because it only lasted about 11 episodes um, but yeah boy meets world and yeah it pretty much shows you would think of um, favorite movies, uh, Dumb and Dumber is my favorite movie of all time, The Dark Knight is one of my favorite, Dark Knight Rises, um, uh, the remake of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre with Jessica Biel, I love that movie, um, Star Wars, uh, Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, love that movie, um, these are just off the top of my head here, but yeah, um, Colin Hurley, what's your favorite title design any promotion um i don't know if he means now or of all time um i would have to go with the 
Attitude Era, which should, it's officially known as the Big Eagle Belt, but the intercon the the classic Intercontinental title is like seriously like just millimeters away. Like if there was like a a measuring, um, that that's definitely right up there. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see here, Corey Downs. What do you think of WWE? Bring I think I answered that one earlier. Havik Kapachian, uh, when do you, when do you think you'll stop making videos? Honestly, when I just don't feel like doing them. I've never felt obligated to make videos. Every single YouTube video that you've watched on my channel is because I honestly thought I want to make a video on that. I want to talk about that. I want to go out and film this. I want to go out and do this and put it up for you guys to see like I've never felt like well I gotta go up I gotta put up videos uh, just for the hell of it because I'm a partner or whatever you know like no I've always just I don't do this uh, I, I think I've said this before I just I don't I this is just fun for me it's a hobby that's all that's all I can say when I really just don't feel like making videos I'll I that's when you'll see me just stop um Kyle Schneider, are you getting Grand Theft Auto 5? And if so, what edition are you getting? I am. I pre-ordered the the game. Uh, damn, what game did I buy? When I bought Halo, the newest Halo last year. Um, some girl was telling me, like, are you sure you don't want to buy? You get a free poster. And I was thinking, well, I know I'm going to buy it anyway, so I might as well just put five bucks down and get the poster, which I... No, that's not it. It's probably in this other batch of rolled up posters that are not on my wall somewhere right here um actually no i think it's down here i don't even remember it's somewhere right here in this area in this perimeter um but yeah i'm getting the normal one by the way and i was actually thinking about that the other day which for what console did i buy it for but i'm pretty sure i bought it for ps3 um danny galvez do you know danny galvez tv basically a plug to yourself very nice you caught me off guard there because like i said i don't i don't read i don't pre-read these uh so i kind of just plugged your channel there good for you um coke or pepsi when i would drink soda it would it would be pepsi burger king or mcdonald's Ooh, mcdonald's barely though probably just because of the big mac um how did you become friends with assault and battery and breach um i don't well breach i just stumbled upon his mcgame bang video which is funny because we we're just talking about mcdonald's and it's it's a it's kind of a it's somewhat of a long story but i kind of just brought him in the skype chat one time with luke and gemini and myself and from there it just went on um with ravi um it's funny because at first i talked uh more to matt legend killer 410 more than him and then i just started talking to him a lot more because he started coming in our skype calls a lot more often um, and then before you knew it in 2011, late 2011, we booked our, you know, trips for Atlanta for WrestleMania. And I think that really made us closer friends. I would, I would think, <laughs> um, I th I'm sure you can confirm that or deny that. Um, uh, what do you do for a living? Well, all right. Now that you ask me, I'll tell you. I'm a baller. Yeah, that was lame, but that's the only thing I can come up off the top of my head. Again, I should probably pre-read these, but again, I don't know. I, f I feel like it takes a lot of the, I don't know, genericness, if you will, of the videos. Uh, what is your favorite DVD in your collection? I think I answered that earlier. Favorite WrestleMania? I've answered that one. Oh, favorite WrestleMania of all time? Well, 17. Um, Royal Rumble? 2000. Yeah, 2000. Uh, SummerSlam, 91. Survivor Series, 95. Uh, that was from Danny Galvez. Uh, Steven Eaton Page. What is one match that if you could be Jim Ross color commentator on, which one would it be and why? Uh, I'm not sure I understand that question. I think you're asking me if I could be color commentator with Jim Ross as the play-by-play -play in one match. Um, missed, um... No, he. Um, I'm gonna say um, Bret Hart and Stone Cold Steve Austin from WrestleMania 13. I think that would be a cool match to commentate with them. Uh, what what 
the one gosh I hate when I have to like correct some of these things and it makes me feel like I'm the one who can't read here uh, what's the one wrestler that you have met that was a total douchebag to you please don't say CM Punk everyone say him well I've not met CM Punk so I've not personally gone through that um Orton was a douchebag back in 09 we just blew me off didn't want to sign anything um I think that's it because I've honestly haven't gone through bad experiences with wrestlers um yeah I would probably say just that just him um let's see do, 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 do. Alex Lorenzo your plans on going to wrestling the 30 and three main events you would want to see that are a possibility Cena Taker Rock and Brock and Punk and Brian uh, plans on going to WrestleMania 30. Plans on going to WrestleMania 30. Less wrestling, more just hanging out with people. Hopefully, uh, that that's what other people have in mind, because then it would just click together. Um, no pun intended there. Um, no ROH, at least for right now. I don't know. Ultimately, I end up doing whatever the group that I'm going with wants to do, because that's the whole point for me to hang out with them. I don't want to do ROH. Dragon Gate is a lot more convenient. Uh, it's right down the street from where we're staying at a hotel. That would, and it's different. I haven't been to a uh, Dragon Gate show in three years, uh, so it's cool to see different talent. And ROH is not in on my best side right now, anyway. So um, that WrestleCon, um, and I probably I don't know, because in Miami we only hung out with uh, like you know with people and at a restaurant once. Hopefully we do that maybe two times at least this time. I, I really like that. That's one of my favorite parts of the trip because wrestling events, yes, they, they are good, but I do those every now and I do those when I go to Money in the Bank or whatever event would be around here. Um SummerSlam, whatever comes around here in within like this area as far as like driving distance, whether it's going all the way to Phoenix going uh, all the way to, to, to visit breach in sacramento like i don't know like it's just it for me it's just hanging out with people that i would never hang out with in this you know for this weekend that, that's that's really my favorite part it's just fun times uh scott jarnigan uh do you think the ywc is dead um i'm on here aren't i <laughs> there's people are here on here aren't his aren't they aren't there isn't there good lord i botched that so bad no i don't think it's dead i should have just said that there's people on here still making videos just gotta go out there and search for them uh oscar hernandez i got it i'm pretty sure this guy asked a lot of questions already uh who do you think will win the kanka oh okay the gold cup i don't follow it enough to know man i know uh um i know mexico lost the first game i don't remember anything else i've I have, I have not watched, followed it this year. I went to a game in 2009, I believe it was, um, or no, 2010. Yeah, it was 2010 when I went to a game. Uh, that's it. That's <laughs> I haven't. I not followed this year's cup. Uh, just, Justin Marinois. Um, if Paul Heyman was to manage another wrestler along with Brock Lesnar and Curtis Axel, which W superstar main roster or developmental do you think would be the best choice to become the newest, quote, Paul Heyman guy, end quote? Mm. It's, 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 I don't know, because, like, I think that him and uh, Cassius Ono would be awesome, but Cassius Ono doesn't need Paul Heyman. So, that being said, it would be someone that needs someone to talk for him at least for the most part um i wish they would have just paired him up with biggie if they were going to give him another paul Heyman guy they should have just give, given him big biggie instead of big bringing biggie and you know like i know people would have jumped to the comparisons that like oh they're trying to recreate brock lesnar and paul Heyman, but i think that would have been better i think he would have sold um biggie a lot better um damn so i just picked someone that's I would say Antonio Cesaro. That's what I'm going to say. Mm, Tyler Panu, and this is the last question. Have you been to Aruba? No. What actress would you want your wife to look like? Wow, that's a, that's a different question. That, not wrestling related, so thumbs up. I always like getting non-wrestling related questions that are different. Um, damn, that's a hard one because personally, I would not want my wife to look too much like a model. More, more of like a like if you saw her you would be like she's, she's not a model she's just she's just she's just hot you know um but if i had to pick someone an actress that i would want my wife to look like 
Ah, oh, God. That's a tough one. I can't think of one off the top of my head. Um... I like brunettes over blondes, so I'm trying to like, narrow it down this way. Um, how long has this video been? 40 minutes, good lord. Um, damn it. I have no idea, man. I'm so sorry if I let you down with that question. And I really wish I could answer it too, because... Um, you know what? I'm actually going to go back and answer that on this post. I, you're the last person, so it'll be easy to look for the question. Uh, to find a question, I'm going to make sure I go back and answer that because I want to make sure that I don't discourage you from asking non-wrestling related questions in the future because I want to make sure I like that question though. And his third question was, how excited are you for Danielson right now? Super excited. We're going to get him going to um, Money in the Bank or not Money in the Bank. <laughs> this video is so going off the rails. Going to SummerSlam facing Cena, one of my dream matches is finally coming true, and I get to see it live. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited for him. But I'm gonna go back and answer that that wife question because um, that's a good question. I'm gonna put some thought into that one. Um, but yeah, that's it for my Q and A. Uh, for those of you that didn't leave a question, maybe next time, uh, just go on my Facebook. That's where I'm gonna do my Q and A's for now. It's a lot easier for me to go through this than on YouTube. Um, I'll, I can see myself doing another Q and A, and I don't know, sometime in August. I think I'll do a Q and A once a month. This is, this is actually kind of fun. So yeah, thank you guys for watching.